Greetings folks, this is the Black Weasel and this is my video game review of Lunar Silver Star Story Complete for the PlayStation 1. Here it is. <laughs> I bought this game off eBay because I was looking through the list of best role-playing games of all time and so I found Lunar Silver Star Story complete on a list of IGN and Reddit and since the game was not on the PlayStation Store I had to buy the game physically since it was not ported towards digital and it's in a good complete condition right here here's the booklet like the manual guide the box and the game that had the two CDs in it well, I actually had like four CDs, like, one of them had the soundtrack in it, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll talk about that later, but I guess I already showed it, showed it. As time goes on, the prices of things that's hard to find go up. And Luna is a game that wasn't going to get re-released re re anytime soon, so I had to buy it before it became impossible to find. Let's uh, get to the re review. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete is a Japanese role-playing game about Alex who wants to go on an adventure to become the Dragon Master, which is another word for a powerful warrior to protect the world. This game and the sequel, Eternal Blue, was made by Game Arts. These are the same developers that made the Grandia se series. As, as I played through the, the game, I came across common elements that were in Grandia. I played Grandia 1, 2, and Extreme. Those games have some great soundtracks that were made by Nori Yukai Iwadere. The soundtrack for Luna is upbeat, catchy, and not boring to listen to. The graphics are candy colored and bright, just like Secret of Mana, and the scenery is quite nice too. This is a remake of the original game that came out in 1992. Like this was one of the few remakes before people started getting into developing old games for new consoles. The combat system is turn based, but this is like the primitive version of Grandia's combat system. So there's some tactics involved. I can position the playable characters in this game. Alex, Lu Luna, Kyle, Jessica, Mia, Nash, and Fat Boy Ramis on Yeah. Fat Boy Ramis. On the right side of the screen, while the monsters are on the left. The way they attack, they spend energy moving towards the monsters, and if they do not reach the enemy, the attack energy is used up. Meaning, some characters can attack twice or more, or move twice, or even three times later on in the game. Alex, Kyle, and Jessica can do that. While in Grandia, the main characters start off attacking one or two times, but as they get stronger, they can attack three or four times. So there's the ability to in interrupt the monster's attack so they won't land a devastating attack. What happens throughout the journey is that the main character, Alex, is accompanied by his buddies. But as certain events occur and get resolved, the characters go their separate ways until I come across certain comrades that become the core combatants of the crew. Anyways, back towards Lunar. I do not have much complaints with this game. It's a remake of a game from the Super Nintendo era. These guys had chances to make it better, and that's what they did. Full motion videos with voice acting and lively NPCs talking during the trips to the villages and towns. And I'm going to talk about a different person's review based on what he said regarding the translations and how this could be the main reason why this great game was imported towards the PSN, unlike Grandia. The translation was done by Working Designs, a different company that, that just translates games from Japan for the Western gamers, which is me. The problem, according towards Aiden Mohair, who is, who is a game reviewer of E. GMnow.com is how the main character's talking needs to be cleaned up and cut down on the jokes. <sighs> According to him, the jokes are just immature and filled with crass humor, but you have to absorb the spirit of the times. This remake and translation was completed back in May 1999, which was years before the social, social justice warrior movement and the PC culture came about, which resulted in language and talks getting softened and centered. Basically, you can't talk freely like it was done in the past. There are much more rules than ever before. Say the wrong things and you'll get punished hard on certain message 
boards or on the job. Worse. And worse, the products or people will just get cancelled and it's hard to get them back. Regarding this, I don't see Lunar getting ported towards the PSN digitally, digitally anytime soon. The long term effects in the real world are people that pe are that people are supposed to talk to in a robotic cold way with no certain style. This also pays the way for anti-socialism, as in give out sp free speech or don't bother talking at all. And, and, and also, it, it's kind of like it, it's similar towards certain pe certain bad people. Like like um, if you say anything, it always uh, always gets used against you, L like a mirror. Like you talk to a mirror, and then they talk back to you as if they're parrots, mirrors, mimics. That's pathetic. The jokes and dialogue in Lunar Silver Star Story is filled with pop culture references, puns, and double entendre that, center, that just centers around men and women's body parts. Now, what type of comedy out there is not filled with these things? Lunar isn't a comedy, but it's a game that, that deserves to have humor sprinkled in every now and then. I have played Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, and Xenon Gears. The J JRPGs by Square between 1994 and 1999 were taking players on dark and depressing journeys and have them get involved in complicated ordeals with a villain that actually wins, an attempted suicide, late stage capitalism, giant robots, and Nietzsche's ideas on, on how to apply them properly. Compared to those games, Lunar is an upbeat, cheerful, colorful, colorly adventure game that has straightforward objectives. I will give Lunar Silver Star Story Complete a 10 out of 10. It's a wholesome game that's rich with adventure. That has characters that feel so alive regarding how they interact with each other. And they get into scuffles and bickerings, but they're good people in the end. I haven't had that much, much camaraderie since Persona uh, 3, 4, and 5. And Grandia too. When the game came to an end, I, I felt really sad because the adventure was over, but it had to be over because the quest was completed. I, I have played Lunar Silver Star Story Complete on March 12, 2020, and I finished it on July 13, 2020. It has taken me almost 55 hours to finish this game. A good portion of the time has been going all over the town and yik yak yikity yak with the locals, the townies, the country folk, and the stupid ones that really mess with Jessica. Alright, that's over.